OK, it's time now for another look at today's business news. And for that, I'm joined by Yuka Hwaye here in the studio. And Yuka, we're starting with a groundbreaking but rather controversial decision by uh, Argentina to allow genetically modified wheat onto the market. Well, Thomas, Argentina is the world's fourth largest exporter of wheat and it has now become the first country to approve the commercialization of transgenic wheat that's designed to tolerate drought. It's a controversial move as many consumers are suspicious of the GM technology. Argentina still needs to convince its export partners too. Camille Nedelec has the story. An ancient crop now made high-tech as Argentina approved the use of genetically modified wheat known as HB4, which is designed to resist drought. Better able to deal with climate change, its inventors say it's also more eco-friendly. Parts of Argentina's wheat-growing areas are increasingly affected by water shortages. And during droughts, this new variety promises a yield 20% higher than traditional wheat. Buenos Aires is hoping to get the green light to export its GMO wheat to Brazil, which imported 45% of Argentina's 11.3 million tonnes of wheat last year. But GMO has long been controversial. While some corn and soybean for livestock is already genetically modified, wheat is mainly eaten by humans. And so the success of the new wheat depends on getting consumers on board. Al final del día, más allá de las aprobaciones, el éxito de esto va a depender de los consumidores, de, de su nivel de aceptación de algo que, que no, no garantiza ningún gobierno. Experts have warned of the difficulty of keeping genetically modified crops separate from traditional crops and say that even if consumers are convinced to try the wheat, it could be at a significantly lower price point. Next, the US has slapped more sanctions on Iran, targeting its financial sector. Well, Thomas, it's Washington's uh, another attempt by Washington to further choke off Iranian revenues. The fresh sanctions apply to 18 banks freezing any U.S. assets of those on a blacklist. People doing business with them, including foreign banks, will also be punished. The U.S. Treasury Department said uh, that the new measures uh, wouldn't apply to transactions of food, uh, medicine and other essential goods to Iran that are considered as humanitarian supplies. Let's move on now to some corporate news. And IBM is splitting after 109 years. Well, the company has decided uh, to spin off its services division next year to focus on cloud computing. The $19 billion unit will become a new public company. IBM says that the split will help it uh, to focus on its cloud platform and artificial intelligence, while the new firm will continue to provide uh, services to manage the infrastructure for businesses. Once a household name for personal computers, IBM got rid of its PC business back in 2005 as it struggled to compete against rivals and has since focused on supplying software services to companies and government agencies. Now here in France, four more cities have been placed on maximum coronavirus alerts, meaning bars and restaurants are facing further restrictions. And Yuka, a similar move in Belgium is already causing quite a stir. Well, bars in Brussels uh, have been forced to shut down completely for at least a month in the face of a surge in coronavirus cases. The measure raised the question over how and when to draw a line between a bar and a restaurant. Some owners are serving snacks to qualify as an eatery. Others say the prolonged coronavirus restrictions are literally sounding the death knell to the industry. Il y a eu déjà cinq suicides chez nous autres dans nos membres. Donc tout ça, c'est un drame social et personne n'en tient compte. All the profession is disgusted because um, uh, the decision taken by the government is completely uh, unproductive because it will only push people to meet in a higher concentration in restaurants or in private parties. And that brings us to the end of the latest business news. Yuka Hawaii, thank you very much.